Well, hello there, Earthlings and Gagugians. Welcome to the show. Today, we are going to climb Mount Philo at Mount Philo State Park in Charlotte, Vermont. I hear that the trail is moderate, so we're going to give... That's my Jeep. So we're going to give it a try and see how far we get today. So let's get going, shall we? Right at the entrance here is the parking lot. If you want to take the trail, you can also drive up. But we're gonna we're gonna hike for a bit. It was five dollars to get in. This mountain is 968 feet tall. It's not part of a mountain range. I just got some new shoes. I feel pretty good so far. My old shoes were really hurting my feet. <laughs> so it's time to get some new ones. Cool rock formation. So this mountain, I believe, is called a Manadnock, which means that it's a, a sort of a singular peak within otherwise flat land, not part of a, like a mountain range. Very well marked trail. <laughs> no doubt about where to go here. My knee's been feeling a little, shall we say, unhinged lately, like it might pop out or something. So I'm just being really extra sure-footed. We're just gonna take it slow and enjoy and go the speed we need to go, right? <laughs> so here's a map I got. It looks like uh, it's gonna cross the road. I'll put an X where it's gonna cross the road at a certain point, so. When we get there, we know we've come pretty far on the trail when we cross the road. So I made it to the road. I think that's probably about two thirds up. Here comes the car. But uh, I feel like I made the better part of this. You know how far it is? Basically, the camp's past. Yeah? Is, now, am I made it most of the way now? All right, cool. I made it most of the way. We're going to look at it on the map. We're right here right now. Yeah, on where the, the road is right there. The road. Basically, if we go up here, we waste our time going that way, then that way. Or we could just go straight, goes up. Uh -huh. What do you think you will do? Go to the campground and go around. Are you going to do the, the roundabout all, way or the straight way? They all lead right there. All right. So, thanks, yeah. for the, thanks for the info. You're welcome. I appreciate it. <laughs> nice shirt. Thanks. What's your name? Michael. Michael? I'm Clorg. Hi. Nice to meet you. Mm. Cool. I like your hardboard shirt. Thanks. All right, we're going to keep going. So I'm feeling kind of refreshed now after my rest down there at the road with Michael and uh, Michael's friend, mom, probably mom. I didn't, uh, I didn't happen to catch her name, but anyway, now I'm feeling a little better and I know that I'm near the top. Nearer to the top than to the bottom. <laughs> it's beautiful. Beautiful here. I think these shoes are gonna work out okay. I wore my long pants so I wouldn't be in danger of maybe Lyme disease or anything like that. But I gotta say the, the trail is very well marked. It's a lot of it's either kind of paved like this where you're on a gravelly thing or it's, you know, or it's just trodden down. You're not really like going off into the, the bush. Summit Trail is up. It's really up from here, but not too far, I don't think. That's where we were.
<laughs> I ran into a, an interesting earthling just now. He said, how you doing, buddy? And I said, huh, you're doing pretty well. He's sucking in some wind. And he said, quite the stair climbing, huh? I said, yeah. And he said, it was more fun when it was a, a real trail. They sucked the nature right out of it. <laughs> so I guess it used to be not so paved like this and more rough. But yeah, I can understand that point of view too. <laughs> oh, this is a great word. Mat was. Mat was wab. Oh gosh. Mat was wab scat. Mat was wab scat. Perfect. Well, after that steep staircase, now it's pretty easy for, for a bit here. We're just kind of going on a pretty easy trail. Ooh, I have a feeling we are coming to something cool. Ooh, I can just see it peeking through. Now the sun is really bright on the, I think that's Lake Champlain. So these are probably the Adirondacks in distance. They don't want us to go past that rope. Do not worry, I will not do that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, this was worth it, wasn't it? So, uh, it's gotta be south maybe. So that's gotta be west in that direction. And that's probably north. I think we've come to the picnic area. Some sort of event going on. The house up here is reserved. There's lots of little nooks with amazing views in each one. Hey, by the way, if you want to just drive to the top, you can do that too. Looks like. So I will show this on the map. I think I'm gonna take this rabbit rock trail, which is a shortcut back to the summit trail. Here's the juncture. Parking lot's right behind me. And we're gonna to go to the right, I think. Yes. Rabbit Rock Trail with that wonderful word, Matt Waswabstack. Oh, another great word, Pitabagok. Pitabagok. It's cool, 68 degrees right now. It's absolutely perfect. There's going to be a fork up here where we can go left in the Summit Trail back where we came, or we could kind of go straight and go to the campsites. I think they're pretty rough. You can't drive a big vehicle up here because of the steep road and the narrow road. So no big rigs up here. Maybe not even small rigs like mine. Funny, it's a lot easier going down. <laughs> Let's go a little bit that way. See how far it is to the campground. That's part of the bathroom. That's what you're looking at as a campground. Pretty basic. Bring a tent. Okay, so that, that first thing we saw that I thought maybe was a bathroom, that's a, a lean-to. There's two cars parked there. I guess you could camp there. Down now. 
so the shoes are hurting just a little bit <laughs> on the around the inside of the just above the heel like the, the curve of the foot just inside feels like the shoe pushes a little bit in that area hopefully that's just something that kind of stretches out and I get used to I'm never good at picking shoes for these human feet I mean let's be honest here it also probably doesn't help that I'm in the 290 pound range right now it's a lot of extra weight on these feet Ooh. can't make any promises so when I promise I just break them so I gotta do something hmm. food is so good why bad food is so good I have an addiction. So we're coming back to the parking lot. We made it. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, what views at the top. Definitely worth it. I think it's about three quarters of a mile up. So I guess we've hiked about a mile and a half or so. By the way, very quickly, if you like the show, consider Buy Me A Coffee to help support the show. Buy Me A Coffee is a great way for creators and artists to accept one-time support or membership ongoing from their fans for the price of a coffee. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash brainfire to help the show. Thank you. Coffee and some bagels And get out of here To where the weather is clear